We have, I don't know, seven or eight classes left together, and I wanted to spend at least one or two of those classes. I don't think we'll finish today. It's such a big, important topic, uh, is reg regular expressions. I need to explain to you what they are, how they're used. I would not be surprised if there are some colleges out there that teach computer science and regular expressions is like an entire full semester course. That's how complicated the topic can be. And uh, I'll, I'll start off by showing you an example, and it's an example from CSA, which some of you might remember, some of you may not. And then we will get into it a little bit today. And I found some great resources for teaching regular expressions, sort of like a nice slow climb for you. So I think that'll be good. Let's look at this problem right here in Computer Science A, CSA. So let's look at this string that I have here. It's, it says uh, a dot b dot c dot a dot b dot c dot, and then like that, right? And I've got two replace commands here. These are string commands. The first one replaces the capital A with an A, and the second one also does the same thing. But the first one is a replace command, and the second one is a replace all command. And I'd like you to reminisce a little bit about your days in CSA. It was oh so long ago. Turn to the person next to you and describe what will the first one output and what will the second one output. Mr. Schulson, sir, what is your prediction for what the first output will be in the second output. So, so the replace will replace the first occurrence and the replace will replace all the occurrences. That would what the natural logical conclusion would be, but of course this is Java, so no. Look at that. Both of them replace all the capital A's with little a's. So now your next question is, why are there two of them? Doesn't make any sense, right? They both do the same thing. Actually, they don't do the same thing. They do the same thing here because it's a trivial example, but let's look at this example right here instead now. So I'm going to comment these out and I'm going to uncomment these two. Now I am presumably, now I am presumably doing a similar thing. I'm taking the periods and turning them into capital Z's. And you'll notice that this time the outputs will be extremely different from one another. So let's run this one. Look at that. And so now we can see that the first one took the periods that were here and changed them to capital Z's. And the second one took all the characters and changed them to capital Z. And so now we have to figure out why that happened. Here, this dot was treated like a regular old dot, right? But here, it was treated like a special character. What do you think the dot character matches in this second expression? Yes, sir. Any character, any character. So <clears throat> the question is, why do we have these two methods? The reason why is that the second one takes a regular expression as its input, and the first one does not. And that's the difference between the two. Now your next question is, what's a regular expression?